I've spent four days at South End now, which is uh, twice as long as I had intended to spend here, but it's such a beautiful spot. I, I had to stay longer. I got all set up with the shower tent, so, you know, I felt clean. Um, and even though the shower tent's a little bit of a pain to set up, it is so worthwhile to have a nice hot shower after being on the beach. Now I'm going to head off a few hundred k's north of here up the coast and then onto the beach and uh, I think the sand driving is going to be more difficult there so it's going to be a bit of a step up and you're also allowed to camp there so I'm going to get some firewood I'm going to see if I can actually do this beach driving thing in the next level. If I can, I'll find some reception and book my campsite. You gotta pay for it. I won't lie, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I've probably got nothing to be nervous about. Although I did do a brief read up just before I left Kingston and they said, you know, all the usual things when it comes to sand driving. Pack your car as lightly as possible and I think that I've never been more loaded up. <laughs> All right, tires are down to 17 PSI, which will give me plenty of real room if I need to go down any further. I just saw some, uh, some cars go up with seemingly non-deflated tires, which looks pretty promising. Um, okay, sand dunes up here that we're gonna have to go up, are we? Oh, here's, a, here's where I should have down my tires. Okay, you can't see the size of this hill. Um, we're doing it though. I'm gonna have to put the camera down though. Oh my god, I was filming all of that just before. You probably heard me talking to myself going, oh god, oh, uh, yep, mm-hmm. Ah, okay, I see. Now I'm doing some sand driving, which I'm... This is softer sand and I'm just staying up here on the tracks here because I have no idea where I'm going and I guess I can't really turn around. Um, so, yeah, at least we've got some campsites. <laughs> okay, I saw a campsite, people waved to me. Happy times! I'm literally shaking. <laughs> that was so intense. Um, and now I have to drive back because I have no reception at all. So I guess that's what I have to do. <laughs> is, is drive back, get reception, pay for the campsite for the night. The reason it was so intense is, have a look at this. First of all, the sand's really soft, which is actually fine. Um, I've figured out how to turn in it. You have to pretty much full lock your steering wheel. I'm not getting bogged. Um, I nearly got bogged right here when I was trying to turn around, but I realized I was getting bogged, stopped, backed up, went forward, backed up, went forward, got out of it, and it was fine. So, um, so that's all good. It's the angle of the beach. The angle of the beach is so sloped at some points, it feels like the, the van's gonna tip over. I genuinely was going, oh my God, if this tips over right here, I'm done for. I went back to reception, booked my site, dropped my tire pressure down to 14 PSI, which I think helped, and came back, my campsite was taken the one that I'd found but that's a good thing because I found a better one right here and it's much flatter Lily you, oh Lil don't start please you tired you're worn out do you want to drink do you want to drink a water yeah oh okay let's have a drink of water there's a fly in here that's definitely not a swimming beach that's for sure. There's that fly. I have to deal with that later. Still sheltering from the wind. Um, been having a bit of a nap. The sun is starting to go down. Just laying in the van. 
watching the waves, dozing in and out of sleep. <sighs> Gonna have to make some food soon. This is my view from my little window. It's pretty nice. It's actually incredibly relaxing. Kinda can't do anything, got no internet. Hopefully the wind dies down once the sun sets. Uh, I think the hot air and the cool air mixing makes wind. <laughs> anyway, something something. Hopefully the wind dies down. So this is what making dinner in the van looks like. I've grabbed some stuff out of the fridge. I've chucked it on the bed there. I've uh, gone out the back and grabbed myself a fork. And uh, now I'm going to make a <laughs> wrap. There's no real easy way for me to show you this, so I've lost my fork in my bed already. Oh, there it is. No, Lil, not for you. It's not for you. I'm sorry, but it's just not. Hey, you've seen my wrap in another video. This is just a ham version. But I got this this rice salad. Um, rice and corn and stuff. So that should be pretty good. Some baby spinach. So that's what we've got going on over here. Now I've got to use two hands to wrap it up and eat it. The sun's setting over the ocean, the clouds are rolling in. I also realised that the sound of the ocean makes it sound to me like it's windier than it is outside, possibly. Um, sounds like it's gale force out there, but it's actually just kind of breezy. Dug a hole and got a fire going. Mission accomplished. Now, oh, that's actually, I can feel it. It's nice and warm from here. That's perfect. The wind is slowly dying down. It's actually moved to a different direction. So I'm actually getting a bit more shelter from it. I'm gonna chill out, have a pirate life beer by the fire and uh, enjoy the rest of my evening. I feel like the hard work is all over. <sighs> now I just get to enjoy it. Morning, it's uh, about seven something. I'm on the beach. I've been looking out the window here at the waves and the ocean, the sun coming up behind the sand dunes, starting to hit the waves. Contemplating how I'm going to start my day. Um, my escape. <laughs> I think a different beach would be better. It's a, it's a bit of a windy beach. Which is probably why all these sand dunes form, because the wind blows all the sand off the ocean direction up into the dunes. I'm gonna make a coffee, pack down the awning, and uh, probably make a move pretty early so that I can go and get some actual breakfast or something somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> hey, there's an idea. <laughs> Thank you.
I need two hands for this. Ta-da! I know this is a more detailed vlog than the other camping videos I've done recently, but some of the feedback I got from some people was they wanted to see more detail, and I just figured, okay, well, I'll do some in this. So you, you can see what it's like to be camping on the actual beach like this. have a table right now so that will do Let me know in the comments. Too much detail? All packed up. Lily's gonna need double harnessing. I'll show you what that means. She's got her normal harness. But then also I've got this strap around here because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Alright, I am back to the dunes. I've just got off the beach. I thought that I'd be really, it'd be a really chill experience driving back. Um, but again, I'm like, not really shaking this time, but not like I was last time. But it's still very intense. Um, and I think a lot of that, it's not to do with being bogged in the sand, it's just the angle of the beach every time. Like, it just makes me, oh, I don't like it in this van. It's, we're up so high, so you get like an angle like that. I'm literally sitting on one butt cheek, leaning like this in the middle of the car and like full, like turning the steering wheel that way. And I think I was fighting it a bit too much this time and nearly got bogged a couple of times. The first time I, I did get a little bit bogged, but just backed up and, and gave it a bit more juice and got over the soft little sand hill dune thing um, the second time it was just getting slower and slower and my steering wheel was like turning I think that's why I think I was uh, fighting the angle too much if I kept my steering wheel a little bit more straight I could use the rut on the other side to sort of guide me and I think I was just fighting that a little bit too much. And when I was fighting it, like, I couldn't figure out at one point whether my steering wheel was straight or whether it was one full rotation. So, um, so that was interesting. I didn't want to accidentally full rotate it the wrong way because then I'd just head straight into the ocean. <laughs> so I just kept on just sort of letting go, holding on, letting go, trying to figure out where it was. Anyway, we got there. Now I'm going to get out of these sand dunes and I think I'll film that. This was the hard part when I was coming in. I was like, oh, 
At least, it, at least I've built up to it. I didn't come straight out to to the beach. I, I probably I wouldn't advise that. I'd, I'd recommend uh, doing some compact beach driving, beach driving like I did before doing the kind that I've just did now. Even though this is probably not even that bad, it's just it was just the angle really. Bounce, bounce. Well, and stuff where they have the, the suspension <laughs> and they're bouncing. <laughs> That's what this feels like. Okay, lots of gas up here. There we go. So you can probably see if this is the type of terrain that I'm now comfortable filming on, you can imagine how bad that beach must have been. Um, I mean, this isn't bad, that's the thing. This is just like, it's a little bit bouncy and mildly soft. So it's, it's not a big deal. If Lily only would know, learn how to use the camera, if Lily, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's it, Lil. That's the last of the. That's the last of the four-wheel driving for you this trip. Oh, we did it. We really, 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 really did it. Now I've got to air up my tyres, this will take a while. It's 8.38am and I already need a beer after that. Well, my, uh, my air compressor seemed to have died, so uh, some nice guys helped me out. I spoke to them earlier on the beach actually, um, so it was actually good to see them behind me there. Uh, they, they were doing their tyres up and I said, oh, could you give me a hand? <laughs> Need a better air compressor, that's what I learned. And also I learned that this thing can go on the beach and the guys reckon it could probably lean over twice as far as it does on this beach before it tipped, so that's good to know. <laughs> that's very good to know, it doesn't feel like it. That's it for me, I'm going to find my next spot, I'll probably have to pull everything out of the van and clean the sand out of it, do all of that fun stuff, and then uh, find a place to sleep tonight.